1887, Boris Karloff was born in the United Kingdom. He would later go on to pass away in 1969 back in the United Kingdom. But in the meantime, he did a whole lot of movies and Boris Karloff was mostly known as the original OG of Universal Monsters, Frankenstein. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mo's Toy Room, come from my room to yours. And today we got the original OG monster, the universal man himself. Here is Boris Karloff as Frankenstein. This movie hit theaters in 1931 and this was his biggest hit known as Frankenstein. And here you can see it, this is brand new from NECA right here. I just found this baby, believe it or not, at Walmart. I got lucky for once at Walmart. I just couldn't believe it. It was $29.99, folks. And as you can tell, it is a beauty. And it is hitting stores now. If you are a fan of Universal Monsters, the original OGs of horror, head over to Walmart right now and get yourself one because they had like a whole like case pack of them. And I believe there was probably like eight of them in there. And I think I was the first guy to buy it at the Walmart at my store. Um, but as you could tell right there, you can see that front font looking real cool. It got that matte finish with some gloss to it, to the picture. This whole thing is just nice. It just celebrates uh, the universal monster himself, Frankenstein, Boris Karloff, rest in peace, my man. You can see that front font looking ever so cool. Let's break it open. NECA does it again. You can see Frankenstein right there in action figure form, how he could look if you have the right diorama behind him. And right here, as he's trapped behind his window of pain, locked in his plastic prison, you can see Frankenstein himself. He comes with two alternate heads. He brings some daisies and he brings some chains and he brings four alternate hands. This thing is a beauty personified for any horror collector or any collector that enjoys this kind of thing. Hit up your local Walmart right now because it is invading now. Let's turn it to the side right there. You can see that beauty right there of that side font looking really cool as Boris Karloff is just kept alive. This guy's timeless now. He's etched in stone. He is an icon. The icon. This beauty is for ages 17 and up, folks. So head over to NECA. Go over to the NECA section over there at Walmart. That's more or less your collector section. Okay, your collector section. Or you can hit up your local Target and they might be putting them out as well. I do not know, but I know I found this one at Walmart and it's out there now. You can see that back font right there looking really cool in the back of that box. Frankenstein monster, the original OG, just doing it. Turning it to the side and there is that other alternate head right there. It just says it all. See, in those days they didn't have all the special effects they didn't have all the cgi these guys were just really really good actors and would bring this monster to life believe it or not folks this movie came out 1931 boris karloff and the funny thing is frankenstein monster looks as if he's like seven feet tall maybe even like seven foot five reality wise boris karloff is only five foot 11 inches tall but back in those days that was considered really big it's just the all the other actors that they had on set were really small so anyway folks what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this thing just to save some time and we're going to be right back all right folks so first off to tell the tape frankenstein's kicking in roughly around eight inches tall, which comes out to close to 20 and a half centimeters. He's a big boy. NECA really went all out on it. First off, let's see what he brings. He brings a beautiful diorama thing for the back. You could check that out. This is staircases where you would have to go up there to go where Frankenstein was originally at. And that's where he came down, okay? If you haven't checked out the original movie, please do so. It is a classic. I know it's black and white, but it is very fun to watch. He brought the, um, his chain for his hands. Okay. He brought two alternate heads. 
he brung this one. Oh, let's see here. Okay, he Frankenstein made a lot of faces in this movie, especially the scene where he was uh, with the little girl at the lake and they were having a tea party. Okay. He didn't know any better, you know. Um, all right. You can see this one. This is the one I really like. I like this grin that he did. Um, I like the whole thing. These are the two actual heads that he's most known for is this one and the one that he has on. I like that a lot. You can see the side. Pardon my big fingers. Okay. And then he brings alternate hands. He brings two that are gripping. A left and a right. You can see the black nails, all the creases amongst the inside of the hands. These would be the hands that are going to hold the daisies. It'll probably end up being more of this one, which goes into the fact that it brings three daisies. All right, folks, so you can see it brings three daisies and these would be the ones. Here's the other two. These would be the ones that he was holding in his hands. One of them's by itself. The other ones together when he was at his tea party with the little girl. Okay, you can see how he would hold it. And he was showing that he really wasn't a monster. He didn't understand a lot of things. And they started throwing stuff in the lake. And they were laughing. And that's where, you know, like where this face comes from. Because he's laughing, just having like a great time uh, at the tea party. Because, you know, he's a monster. He didn't know any better. Uh, and... They threw some stuff in the lake and then Frankenstein got carried away and he didn't know that the little girl couldn't swim. So he grabbed her and then tossed her into the, to the lake. And when she's screaming in the water, he just kind of freaked out and just like took off. Uh, that's kind of where they started looking for him. Uh, but he also brings uh, two, alter two more alternate hands you can see right here. These are the ones that he would more than likely use amongst the chains the chains would be in there like this when he when he was standing up and trying to get his rhythm and everything else you know um yeah just really good material so i like the way they did these hands the whole inside is really nice NECA just really decked this beauty out you guys, if you guys are a huge fan, please do so. Yeah, they got hinges on them. They all work really good. Please do so and go and pick yourself up one. All right, folks, so it is review time for this guy. Let's take a look at Boris Karloff himself as Frankenstein. I want to give him a turn. I've been waiting for this figure for a long time. The moment they announced it, uh, I had no idea that they were going to do the colored version. Uh, I originally wanted the black and white and they released the color one first. I will get the black and white one when it's released. Um, I think between this one and the episode 7 of the uh, Friday the 13th Jason. Um, I think these are the two most sought after figures that I personally want in my collection. Uh, I can't wait for the Boris Karloff as the mummy figure to come out. Uh, what I love about NECA is they're re revamping it. They're reliving uh, the old ages of, of cinema. And the Universal Monsters are the best way to do that. Uh, and you had more or less four kings of, of the um, screen back then. You had Boris Karloff. You had Lone Chaney. You had Lone Chaney Jr. And, of course, we had Bela Lugosi as Dracula. I'm almost for certain mostly all those figures are also going to be released. And I will review them here at Moe's Toy Room. All right, folks. So let's look right here. You can see his garment looks really cool. It's very nice material the way that they did this. I love it all the way around. The, the coat does not open. That's about as much as you're going to get there. You can see all the way down through the creases, the color, the color throughout his face, his bolts on his neck. When he ever needs a jump start, 
You know, why did Frankenstein ever always win a race? Because he always had the jump start. <laughs> All right. I had to throw that one in there. All right. And then you can see like his hands that it just brings. And yes, that is the way it was. Like his sleeves only went down that far. When, when I've watched this movie, I don't know how many times over and over and over and over and over. Uh, when I first got the, you know, the big old box set of them. Okay. And um, yeah, this is the way he looked. He's, it's a split image throughout all the creases. You could see even the parts where they put his hands together, where they sewed them all the way through there. You know, a lot of sewn parts on him. I really can't wait for them to bring out a bride of Frankenstein to go right alongside of him. I'm sure that NECA will probably end up giving us that probably in 2002. All right, you can see his platforms right there. That's what gave him the elevation of a man who was five foot 11 inches tall to look so big because of the big feet that he had. All right, folks. All right, so let's take a look right here. Let's see how far his head goes down. Very nice. Frankie, you are looking really sharp. Look at that. Wow. This old timer right here really got some movement. Hits that Michael Myers. Woo. Woo, man. How's that feel, Frankie? Oh. <laughs> all right, my man. Head spins all the way around. Looks really, really nice. Like I said, oh, look at that. That's cool. So his head, let's take his head off real quick. His head is on the neck with the ball, with the ball joint right there, right? Well, with the dumbbell joint, dumbbell ball joint. But it has the neck with the bolts on it, and even that moves. There's some articulation right there. Really, look at that. Real nice. So let's check it out and let's switch to the head that I really like right here. This will probably be the one that I'll probably end up posing them with. So I might as well just put it on them. It'll be that one right there. Looking real good, Boris Karloff, Frankie. All right. Arms hit 90. Very nice. No butterfly cup joint hinge. Uh, right there and then you got the single jointed elbows okay all right single joint other side these elbows are really cool because they have swivel throughout the elbow versus having swivel at the top of the bicep um, hands move real good hinges in them look good okay overall let's check out and see how good these hands go in and out you can see right there how easy it is for some of you, this may be your first time, then you're thinking about purchasing this. There you go. That's how Frankie would look right there. If you put the daisies in his hand, let's check them out. There you go with that grin. I'll probably end up posing them like that. I like that. I like it a lot. All right. Other hand, same way. Really good movement. They have just did it, right? has swivel amongst is that below his chest yeah right here below the chest you can't see it underneath the garment here if you hold it here he has swivel right about here and then let's see if he has any more swivel does he does he have swivel amongst there or is that his pants oh yeah and then he has pants above his pants so right there okay so he has dual and then his ab crunch. There you go. Ooh, look at that ab crunch right there. Real nice legs. There you go. Oh, all right, right. Good movement right there. Swivel at both knees. Okay. Hits that Anderson Silva kick. That's about yay far right there. Ooh. Ooh, Frankie. I'm sure you're glad to be out of your box. All right. Hits it about there. Super nice. Bruce Lee kick. Ooh, that's pretty good. Kick down the door over there. Get in that windmill. You know the one that burned down at the end? Okay, the one he was in. All right. And then if you look, he has the single. This one, I can't get this leg right here. I got to see the hinge, but I can't really get it to bend. But the other leg bends pretty good. Just can't get this leg to bend but that's how he's gonna pose he'll he'll just have to stay like that okay 
And then if you're looking for some tilt rocker, I don't know if you want to call that tilt rocker. Yeah, I could say it got some tilt rocker on the feet. And then the feet have some really big hinge joints up in there. Well, small ball joint right there. You can see it. Look at that ball joint hinge throughout there. It got some super sized ones up in there, like really big. Man, they made this dude really ready to ready to roll. So down both feet. That's about how far you're going to get up. Obviously, yeah. Oh, that leg is stiff. Ooh. And that's it for my man Frankie right there. Loved it all the way. It, it impressed me. I just really wish that the one knee would have worked, functioned a lot better. But I will more likely just pose them like that. Um, all right, folks. So we're going to wrap this thing up and we're going to be right back. All right, folks, so that'll do it from Mo's Torum to yours. If you like this video and you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, so that way you know when the next video like this one hit. Also, you can follow us on Instagram at Mo's Toys. That's M-O-E-S-T-O-Y-S. We're also on TikTok at Mo's Toy Room up on TikTok. Also, please feel free to share, like, and subscribe to this video because this is the way we roll over here at Moe's Toy Room. And yes, we are on our way. Trust me. We just keep running out of time to hit up some film up on, up on Twitch. So you can start following today. We don't have anything up yet, but we will soon enough. Uh, we want to start doing some stuff on Twitch uh, shortly. So from Moe's Toy Room to yours, good night, everyone.